Hello, my name is Erin Ness, and I'm going to talk to you today about structural family theory. Structural family theory was developed by Salvador Mnuchin in the 1960s. This theory has continued to evolve through his ongoing work and work of others. This theory focuses on the family structure and the invisible and often unspoken rules that organize how family members interact. Structural family Theory practitioners believe that when a family establishes appropriate authority, subsystems, and boundaries, the emotional lives and behaviors of its members will develop in ways that are satisfactory to the family. Some strengths of this theory are that it has been used successfully in families of different ethnicities, races, religions, sexual orientations, and income levels. So this theory is flexible and it has a wide applicability. Another strength is the theory of this theory is that treatment is individualized and it's geared toward the family at hand. Although this theory um, has been a popular approach to family intervention, there are some weaknesses. The first weakness is that it doesn't take into account the modern family. Um, the family of yesterday isn't the same as today. This theory's um, focus is on a two-parent home with a male being at the top of the hierarchy. And as we know, that just isn't how all families are made up today. Another weakness is of structural family theory is that it doesn't take into account the feminist analysis there are more and more demands placed on females in the home, such as joining the workforce, raising children, taking care of the home, and this theory doesn't acknowledge that. The role of the therapist, um, the role that the therapist plays in this approach also is a weakness. Although treatment is individualized and geared toward the family, it is the therapist who def, dis, uh, it is the therapist who determines um, what is dysfunctional and what isn't working in the family, not the family members. So it, it takes um, away a lot of the power that this family has because this this therapist has determined what is wrong with them versus what is wrong with themselves. So the client isn't in the driver's seat for their own treatment. A couple of theories to redress the weaknesses or limitations of structural family theory are empowerment theory and feminist theory. By using empowerment theory, the client can take control of their own treatment and work on what they feel they need to work on versus what the therapist thinks they need to work on, which will result in the client feeling more empowered. And then feminist theory was chosen to address the limitations of structural family theory's lack of a feminist approach and the gender inequalities the theory doesn't address. I chose this theory because I thought the Brown family needed some reorganization with structure. The parental roles seem to be not clearly defined and authority and boundaries not properly established. I would think that Raymond's problems, um, some of his problems stemmed from this. I think this family needs to reestablish the parents as being the executive subsystem and having the power. The parental system needs um, to establish rules and boundaries and expectations for the family. And I think that this family also needs to work on their communication and make sure that ha they have clear communication with one another. So that is structural family theory in a nutshell. Thank you.